हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू फाइंड फोर ईयर सीरीज ऑफ द फंक्शन इन द इंटरवल माइनस पाई कॉमा पाई इन माय लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव शोन यू हाउ टू फाइंड फोर ईयर सीरीज ऑफ द फंक्शन इन द इंटरवल सी कॉमा सी प्लस टू एल देन वॉट इज सो स्पेशल विथ दिस इंटरवल माइनस पाई कॉमा पाई टू अंडरस्टैंड इट यू हैव टू वॉच दिस वीडियो कंप्लीटली Well, according to my last video, Fourier series of the function f of x in the interval minus pi comma pi can be given by f of x is equal to a naught plus summation a n cos n x plus summation b n sin n x, where these summations runs from n is equal to one to infinity, where Fourier coefficient a naught, a n, and b n expressions are given as this. A naught is one upon two pi. Integral of f of x dx over the limit minus pi to pi. A n is one by pi. Integral of f of x cos n x dx over the limits minus pi to pi, and b n is one by pi. Integral of f of x sin n x dx over the limit minus pi to pi. Well, as far as the function f of x is neither even nor odd, you can stay with this definition of the Fourier series of f of x. In the interval minus pi comma pi, but if f of x is either even or odd, you can modify this series to something else. So let us see that modified version of the Fourier series of f of x. First, we understand what are even and odd functions. We say that if f of minus x is equal to f of x, then function is even. And if f of minus x is equal to minus of f of x, then function is odd. For example, if we take f of x is equal to x square, it is an even function, whereas x cube is an odd function. Similarly, cosine functions are even functions, and sine functions are odd functions. Now we see what is the nature of the product of the two functions, which are Either even or odd. That can be explained using this following table. Assume f of x is an even function, as well as g of x is also even function. Then their product f of x into g of x is also even function. But if either of them is an odd function and the other one is the even function, then their product is always odd function. And If both the functions are odd, then their product is even. Now let us see what happens if the function f of x is even or odd. If f of x is either even or odd function in the interval minus a comma a, then its integral over the limits minus a to a is given by two times integral of f of x dx over the limit zero to a whenever f of x is even. And it is equal to zero if f of x is odd. Proof of these statements is quite straightforward. One just need to put x is equal to minus t in this integral. Now let us see how to find Fourier series of the function which is even or odd in the interval minus pi comma pi. First, we take the case of even functions. If f of x is even in the interval minus pi comma pi, then Its Fourier coefficients a naught, which is given by one by two pi integral of f of x dx over the limit minus pi to pi, is equal to two times integral zero to pi of f of x dx divided by two pi. This two two goes cancel, so a naught becomes one by pi integral of f of x dx over the limit zero to pi, and a n. Whose expression is one by pi integral of f of x into cos n x dx over the limit minus pi to pi will become one by pi into two times integral of f of x cos n x dx over the limit zero to pi because f of x is even and cos n x is also even f of x into cos n x is an even function so integral of the even function over the limit minus a to a. Can be written as twice integral of 
f of x into cos n x over the limit 0 to pi. Whereas b n's expression is 1 by pi into integral of f of x sin n x dx over the limit minus pi to pi will be equal to 0 because f of x is an even function, sin n x is an odd function, so their product is an odd function. So integral of the odd function over the limit minus a to a is equal to 0. Now we see what happens with the Fourier coefficients if the function f of x is odd in nature. a naught's expression is 1 by 2 pi integral of f of x dx over the limit minus pi to pi. Since f of x is odd function and limits are opposite to each other, so this integral is equal to 0. Similar thing happens with a n. a n is 1 by pi integral of f of x cos n x dx over the limit minus pi to pi. But f of x is odd function and cos of n x is an even function. So their product is an odd function. Integral of odd function over the limit which are opposite to each other is always equal to 0. Whereas b n which is 1 by pi integral f of x sin n x dx over the limit minus pi to pi can be given as 1 by pi into twice integral of f of x sin n x dx over the limit 0 to pi. This is happened because f of x is odd function, sin n x is an odd function, odd into odd function is an even function. So integral of even function over the limits which are opposite to each other is twice integral 0 to pi f of x sin n x. So if we summarize this, we can say that Fourier series of the even function in the interval minus pi comma pi is given by a0 plus summation a n cos n x where a0 is 1 by pi integral of f of x dx over the limit 0 to pi and a n is 2 by pi integral of f of x cos n x dx over the limit 0 to pi. And if f of x is an odd function in the interval minus pi to pi then its Fourier series is given by summation b n sin n x where b n is given by 2 by pi integral of f of x sin n x dx over the limit 0 to pi where b n is given by 2 by pi integral of f of x sin n x dx over the limit 0 to pi. Note that in these summations n runs from 1 to infinity. I hope you understood how to find Fourier series of even and odd functions in the interval minus pi comma pi. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.